Hi everybody, it's Goody Parade, and I have three of the Wave 2 Frightmares, the little Monster High dolls that are uh, part horse or unicorn or something, <laughs> centaur. And I have three of them. There are actually four that come in this next wave, and I am missing one of them. Uh, her name is Blaze or something Blaze, and I don't have her, but I didn't want to wait till I... Uh, found her to do the video since these three were really hard to find on their own. So I thought I'd go ahead and do the video and then I'll add her later when I discover her somewhere. Okay, I don't know if you guys have seen these or even if you've seen the fright mares. Some people haven't even seen the first wave of the fright uh, mares. And they're these adorable little girl dolls on horse bodies. This one is Skyra Bounce Gate. Here's her cute little picture. The box, the box is about, you know, half the size of a doll box, a full-size doll box, just cut right in half. And it's kind of like the doll box where it's clear on a couple of sides, has art on the other sides. And on the back, it tells you a little bit about the character. And here she is. She's mostly blue and white with this little horseshoe on her. It says, deep in the catacombs below Monster High lives a fantastically fashionable race of four-hoofed creatures called Frightmares. Don't rein in your curiosity. Go to MonsterHigh.com to find out more. Okay, so if you want to find out more, go to MonsterHigh.com. Skyra Bouncegate. I've been accused of being perky, but I prefer to think of myself as energetic. And it's a good thing, too, because it takes a lot of energy to cheer on the herd and encourage them to go, fight, win. So uh, it does look like she's a little bit of a cheerleader, which is what I was thinking here. She also looks like maybe she's a ghost because she has that uh, chain around, a chain belt with the balls, kind of like a Spectra hat. So that will be interesting to find out. And she has these horns on the top of her head. All right, well, let's get her out of here already. All right, I got Miss Skyra out, and she is adorbs with her blue hair. It also has some purple in it, as you can see, and her little horns, her little uh, cheerleader skirt, and her shirt that has the upside-down horseshoe, and again, she's got this kind of ghosty-like belt. Her uh, body is also kind of ghosty. Parts of it aren't quite clear, but uh, a little translucent and um, with a pearl kind of finish, which is really pretty. And she has these adorbs, little pom-poms on her front hooves and a little blue tail with a little blue bow on it. And from the back, you can see her perfectly parted ponytails. And again, I don't know if you can really see how pretty this um, finish is, this kind of pearl almost like a lavender sheen to it. And then her um, feet kind of go into the silver color, which also reminds me a lot of Spectra, uh, leading me to believe she must uh, be part of the ghost family. And look at her cute little face. Although all these little frightmares, they all look just a little bit angry or like something's troubling them, I'm not sure. <laughs> all right, that is Skyra Bouncegate. So I'm gonna put her over there while we get to Penelope Steam tail, and I am guessing uh, she is uh, a steampunk version of a Frightmare. If you know what steam steampunk is, not everybody's familiar with that. You can Google it and uh, find out about it. Looks like she's got kind of a metallic pearl finish on her body as well, and I love the glasses. And she appears to be some sort of unicorn with the. A horn here and she does have wings where I noticed that um, Skyra does not have wings and I do think um, the first wave of Fright Bears I believe they all had wings so this is a little bit of a departure and um, also I did want to say that they are uh, very articulated you can move their legs around her body around her head her arms and I always like to see what they look like from the front because they almost just look like regular 
two-footed standing bipedal people. Okay, back to Penelope Steamtail. Here's her cute little artwork with her pinkish hair, although here it looks a little more auburn, almost kind of fuchsia. And there she is, Penelope Steamtail. And on the back, there's her gorgeous artwork. It says, I'm a finely tuned frightmare who's geared to trot like a top. I believe precision makes the world go round, and that includes getting my name right. It's P-E-N-E-P-O-L-E. -E -E. Please pronounce it precisely, Penelope. Okay, loving that beautiful artwork with all the gears and trinkets on her. We'll have to get a real good look at hers on there, what they really look like. Okay, let's just get her out already. All right, here we have Penelope. Oh my gosh. I love the unicorn. She has got a lot going on here. She's got a unicorn horn. She wears glasses. I'm not gonna try to take them off there. Looks like kind of um, strapped to her head here with a clear plastic thing and I'm not gonna mess with that because <laughs> I like the glasses look. And she does have kind of some steampunk wings here that have gears and it almost looks like it's metal. Although from back here, it looks like a uh, butterfly. And she's got this gorgeous, long, thick, auburn, uh, kind of purple, red, pink hair. Really soft. And then she has a little shirt that has gears on it. And her little belt also has gears and a horseshoe. And then uh, her body is this really beautiful color, again, with that pearl finish. Cute little tail. Very cute. I really, really like her. She has got a lot going on between the unicorn, the wings, the glass. <laughs> She's got a lot going on. And there she is from the front, so you can see just what she would be like as a girl instead of as a four-legged creature. <laughs> girl, four-legged creature. Okay, enough. And then finally for today, although not finally in this wave too, we have Fawn Teen Follow Heart. Fawn Teen Follow Heart, and she is just extraordinary looking. Look at her, she has these amazing little ears and horns. And she, I just, I almost don't know what to say to her. She's so amazing. Uh, Fawteen, Fawn Teen Follow Heart. And there she is. And there's a beautiful picture of her. It says, my friends say I'm a little bit quiet and a little bit shy. And I suppose they're a little bit right. Although I prefer to think of myself as gentle, which suits me right down to the ground. So there you have it. She's quiet and gentle. There you can see her a little bit through there. And what's going on there with her little hoof? Okay, I guess we'll just see it when we open it. Okay, I think she's got something going on here. I need to be careful for this. Oh, this like flower thing with the bird skulls in it snaps here. Kind of snaps to this piece it looks like. I see right there. Okay. There was a rubber band in there. Okay, I don't know if you can see. So she's got like a bird skull. Let me fix this. Kind of bird skull here and then a bird skeleton here and a bird skeleton here so that all goes on her head and this little piece here with the flowers can uh, snap off if you want to take that piece off which i don't and she has this beautiful very soft blonde hair 
with green underneath and her hair comes forward in these little wisps right here over her ears that are amazing look they are completely connected to her head <laughs> I love her she's the most unusual I think she's my favorite thus far. I haven't seen the Blaze one yet, but look at her. Those ears really get me. Okay, let's have a look at the rest of her. She's got this pink shirt on with vines and a belt with vines. And she's got kind of green leaves around her hooves here and plants around here. And she's got a cute little tail, more like a little deer tail, definitely different from the others. And again, she can uh, move around. Let's move her forward, move her head forward. And her legs can move too. There we go. So yeah, I wonder if you can kind of have them sit down. Not really. Not really. All right, there she is as a girl, kind of. She's amazing. <laughs> wow. Very creative. I don't know why she gives me kind of a, a vintage vibe, kind of like a 1970s toy or something. I don't know. But I really like her. Look at her face and her eyebrows. Little dots on her cheeks, kind of sparkly. She has kind of a dark skin, kind of tanned dark skin. So she's pretty interesting okay so uh that's the three uh fright mares that i have so far in the um wave two like i said there's one more coming out i have no idea when haven't even been able to um see it online where it will be for sale so i don't know what's the hold up with her but we do have three of these little ladies so let me t tell me which one's your favorite I think I'm liking her with the crazy antlers and things. She's pretty cute too, though. I don't know. They're all amazing. All right, everybody, don't forget to subscribe because there's all kinds of new Monster High stuff coming out left and right right now, and I'm hoping to get them all up as soon as I can. So keep an eye open. All right, bye for now. Bye.